Our world is filled with dark influences, the occult, it's all around us. People yes, minimize Satan so much, like he's not real, like he's a fairy tale, and they don't understand the consequence of those choices. We met with Pastor Ahumbe, and then we kept the cameras rolling for an uncensored discussion on the occult. We need to learn how to work in the fear of God. That's the only protection for us. Join us now on Joni Table Talk. I have a lot of great friends. It would behoove you to listen to what I got to say. We love to get together and talk. I really see myself as a compassionate person, and people really matter to me. No topic is too shocking, and no subject is too tough. One thing that I love in my life as a minister of the gospel, to see the captive being set free from the bondage of the evil one. My friends have an opinion about everything. I can't help it. So grab a seat and join the conversation. This is Joni Table Talk. Welcome to Table Talk. Today we're continuing our discussion from yesterday on the occult and the dangers of being involved in its practices. Now, Melanie, you have past experience with the occult involving the use of the Ouija board. Tell us about that. When um, I, I got saved and filled with the Holy Spirit when I was about 11 years old. Mm -hmm. I only spent a couple years in the church and um, backslid for a number of years, so I was an adult and I came back to the Lord. But anyway, in that time, late teens, early um, 20s, uh, we started playing with the Ouija board at parties. And so it was a drinking game. Mm -hmm. You would drink alcohol, and then you would play with the board. And we thought that we were talking to human spirits who were dead mm -hmm. and lost somewhere in the middle. Mm -hmm. And um, um, they would actually manifest and talk back to us. And to the point where our hands didn't even have to be on the board. Yes. It could move by itself, mm -hmm. you know, because you're supposed to put your hands on the board and it mm -hmm. moves you. And um, there was, I can remember that we were in, we would, we would always be at this one girl's house and she had a mirror on the window and the face of that, we thought we were talking to a little boy. His face would show up and he would talk to us and we would ask him questions about his life and, and he was trying to get, you know, through to the next realm and we would talk back and forth to him. And, and um, I remember she had this, um, the, you know, Jesus. like an armor, soldier armor, like medieval, like how they have decorations mm -hmm. that are about this mm -hmm. tall. Mm -hmm. And I remember one night while it was talking to us, the armor was gesturing like it was talking. <laughs> and, you know, we were just laughing and thinking that was so funny because we were very intoxicated. And, but we really had a relationship with, with that demon. demon. Yeah. We cared for that demon. We loved that demon. We wanted to be with him. During the day when we were not drunk, we would miss him. We would wow. talk about him. We, we were friends with him. You know, but things started happening in everybody's lives. And um, <laughs> all those people are not living today. Wow. You know, there were some very serious consequences. And, uh, because that door we didn't was even open. Make comments, but the door was open. And it opened, like one of the things that I, that I say in my testimony, and you have to be very careful about this, but when I got saved as a young child and went back to the world, Knowing God and then denying God denying and leaving God. him. Yes. You invite so many things that you would have never experienced. So had I not gotten saved, mm -hmm. well, God. I would have not experienced exactly. all those things exactly. except that I denied him. Yes. Yes. And so it was so hard to come back, back. to him. Mm -hmm. and, and so you don't fact, play around with God. Yeah. 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 And, and, and you don't play around with the devil. And people that's, that's minimize Satan so exactly. much. They minimize it like he's not real, like he's a fairy tale. Exactly. And they don't understand the consequence of those choices. But you know, the thing is here, my sister, a lot of people, a lot of in the churches, we only focus on demons. But do you know that we do also deal with human being a spirit? Hmm. Oh, yes. If you read in the book, First Samuel, where uh, Saul uh, wanted uh, to uh, get information. Uh, and, and Samuel, the prophet, was already dead. He went to the medium in Endor and went to seek help. He wanted to get some instructions uh, about the war that he was going to face, the Philistines. So he went and uh, told the medium. The medium asked, he said, what do you, who do you want me to call, to invoke? And uh, uh, so say, I want to speak to Samuel. Yeah. 
Samuel was dead, buried. And what the Bible tells us, mm -hmm. the ground start cracking and the spirit came out and start speaking with uh, soul. And was it really Samuel? Because there are pastors today teaching no. that that wasn't really. No. The Bible tells God is above principality power. God can do anything. A fallen angel can take a form of a human being, okay, and then come. Which are what I really believe is this. The Bible says it's one is called to a man to die once. Yes. After that is a judgment. That's right. But a lot of premature death, like people who have killed themselves before their timing, okay? Or if there's you, a tragedy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. God knows the, the day you are going to die. Yeah. There is a day that God has designed for you to die. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you die before that, suppose today you decide to go and kill yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, your human being spirit will air here. That's what you call a ghost. That's why in my country you see them everywhere. Mm -hmm. You go to Haiti. Why Haiti went through what they went through? Let us be honest. A nation that does not know God is a cursed nation. They have an opportunity. That's why missionaries have to take this opportunity yes, to go and evangelize there. Yes. It's because of witchcraft. You know, Lester Summerall talks a lot about this too, that yes. demon spirits um, and familiar spirits, like what he's talking about, human being spirits, yes. will dwell in places of tragedy. Exactly. They will take on the person or the event mm -hmm. where the tragedy took place and imitate that. Exactly. Perfectly where you actually believe this is where this young girl was killed. Mm -hmm. or you hear about haunted houses or mm -hmm. those kind of things, but they are not actually those individuals. No, but they are the, they are demon spirits yes. that are, yeah. you know, coming in that form. Yeah. Like and, in uh, Haiti, they had the sister Johnny, what you call the 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 voodoo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You take a voodoo priest will go with you in the cemetery if you know where they bury your great grandfather. I don't care, fifty years ago, mm -hmm. they will go and invoke the spirit. And your great grandfather will come and stay with you in your house. Now, like, I ask them a question: Is it really your grandfather? <laughs> no. So is it? This is, that, is, is in that the, this last day, fallen angel. There's a demon pretending. No, I think it's not really a demon because there is a difference between a demon and a fallen angel. A demon does not have a spiritual body. He cannot. He cannot. Uh, incarnate into a physical body and come like this. Mm. Okay, that's why they love possessing human being. My experience into witchcraft. Okay, and 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 a fallen angel. They're the one who can have a form of a human being. You are dead, there, buried, but they have this ability to look like you, talk like you, to come and deceive you, mm. thinking that is a person who died. No, it's not that person. Mm -hmm. Because you're living with a zombie. What, what about transference of spirits? We hear that a lot. Yeah, transferring a spirit, is, it's, it's real. Uh, like what I'm saying, like psychic and medium, they have specialized in it. When you go see a psychic and medium, they say, well, we are going to help you in this and that, and, and we do this, and we're going to remove this problem that you are having in you, this and that. What they're going to do, they don't remove the problem. They can take the same thing that you are going through and put it somewhere else. Suppose you went with a neck, a, a neck problem. They will command that demon that is tormenting your neck to go back to your leg. Oh. Okay? Mm -hmm. They know oh. how to do these things because I was doing these things. That makes so much sense, though, because, they, because you think you've been healed no. when really it's just a relocation yes. of pain. Yes, mm. they will transfer it somewhere else. Oh. And they can. That's what I tell Christian. Only your pastor, let him lay hand on you. Mm. The laying of hand in the Old Testament and New Testament is impacting whatsoever it's in the man. The man will only give what he got if he does not have the fear of God. Right. What is it really, really going to put in you? So you, you do need to use wisdom. Use wisdom. Because, I mean, like if the Bible talks about call the elders. And, yes. You know, but, I mean, you should only allow people that you know exactly. their walk with the Lord. And it's very important because people pray manipulate.